What's up, everybody? Brian over at V's Diecast Fantasy Land, and I have got an exciting, exciting package here uh, that I got in the mail today, and I'm really excited about uh, opening this up because it has got some classic, classic Hot Wheels in here, and I'm going to be eventually customizing these cars, but I want to give it some more experience under my belt before I do this because these are <clears throat> fantastic so these are the first two here in the package and we've got us a couple of them here this one is let's see if i can get this focused for you beatnik bandit it is pretty dinged up. It is pretty banged up. I'm really excited about uh, working on this particular casting. Um, these were uh, some of these classic Hot Wheels that uh, plan on actually taking and uh, ordering from the Redline shop for the missing parts. And I'm going to see here real quick if I can set this down. See if I can get this open here for real quick for everybody. This one is, of course... And I can't remember specifically. I believe that's the Python. And I'm going to pick this back up so you can kind of see it in this Python. Um, I'm going to be also um, working on a complete restore on this. And this car is obviously seen better days. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting some of the parts purchased from the Redline shop and working on this particular uh, casting here as well. Um, and I've got it that beatnik bandit and here it is awesome these two models here i believe and i'd have to look back at them but i want to say these were 69 i believe um so that one's uh very ugly shape and i'm really looking forward to um to working on these then i've actually got two more in here which um see if i can get to this bag let's see what we have got here And I'm going to be um, leaving this one. I'm going to be working on trying to come across the motor um, for this. This one I'm going to leave as is. Uh, it's got some little scratches and, uh, you know, some blemishes with the paint here. I believe this was a 74 model. Um, but this one is the Gremlin Grinder. And uh, this one, let's see here, I think, yep, 74 from Hong Kong. And overall, these wheels look pretty good. They're really not um, really bashed up or in horrible shape. So I'm going to see about just getting the uh, motor replacement for this and leaving it as is. It's really, really a sharp uh, shot. And then last but not least, uh, it is the Mercedes. And this is nice. I'm going to see if I can get, um, obviously, the replacement hood. I may try to reach out to Bare Metal HW about that. Um, pretty cool casting uh, overall in this Mercedes. Um, let's see, and I believe, yep, the 280 SL, 69. Um, really looking forward to um stripping this down working on this casting uh and getting the paint i'm going to try to restore this paint to original um, a lot of scratches on the windshield but that's okay uh, i'm going to do what i can with this again after some experience then i'm going to work on really getting to this and seeing what i can do with these but i uh, hope you like it i'm going to be showing you um a brief video on my <clears throat> thrift store antique store finds today as well uh, but these actually came in the mail today. I was so excited about uh, opening these up and um, checking them out. So, uh, again, we'll talk with you soon, and I uh, hope everybody is safe out there. Thanks.